Using an automated external defibrillator, commonly referred to as an AED, in combination with CPR, may be more effective than CPR alone. An AED helps the heart re-establish an effective rhythm and works alongside CPR to provide the best possible care. Best of all, AEDs are simple to use. You just have to turn it on and follow the prompts. In situations with multiple trained responders, one can continue CPR while the other applies the AED. Many AED kits come with adult and child size pads, gloves, a breathing barrier, a dry cloth, scissors, and even a razor, which should be used if the person has excessive chest hair. First, the AED will prompt you to expose the person's chest. Next, the AED will prompt you to attach the pads as shown on the pads. From there, the AED will analyze the person's heart rhythm and determine if a shock is advised. No one should be touching the person while the AED is analyzing or delivering a shock. It's your job to tell everyone to stand clear. It may sound like a lot, but remember, the AED is going to tell you exactly what to do and when to do it. With multiple trained rescuers, you can continue CPR while the AED is being applied, but it's important to stop during analysis. After the machine analyzes, it will say either shock advised or no shock advised. This is the time for the second responder to get into position for chest compressions. Continue providing care until the person shows obvious signs of life, you have performed five sets of CPR, and another trained responder is available to switch or EMS personnel take over, you are too exhausted to continue or the scene becomes unsafe.